Senators' expenses are at the top of our broadcast once again tonight. This time we're talking about how much senators who were liberal until recently spent on their travel, or more precisely, how much you spent on their travel. Like with the Conservatives, some of the totals are high, and some senators show a liking for executive class travel. But unlike the Conservatives, not all the numbers are there. The CBC's Susan Bonner has been our lead reporter on this story. Susan. Peter, when it comes to the expenses of former Liberal senators, the party promised, delayed, and then released. But not everything. The Liberal expenses cover a three-month period, but CBC zeroes in on the period between mid-October and mid-November, at the height of the Senate spending scandal. While there is no suggestion of rule-breaking, Liberal senators continued to spend a healthy amount on airline tickets. Top spenders include... Wilfred Moore, who spent more than $15,000 traveling between Chester, Nova Scotia and Ottawa, including flights and per diems. George Baker, who made trips between Gander and Ottawa, billed more than $13,000. And George Fury traveled between St. John's and Ottawa for a total of more than $12,000. The Liberals are once again raising the bar on transparency and accountability. It was last June when Liberal leader Justin Trudeau first promised to release detailed expenses for MPs and senators. As of this fall, our uh, reports will be uh, put online. We are going to be uh, transparent about this approach uh, and we're going to just start doing it, not wait for the others to do it. Liberals did post some limited expenses for a brief period this fall. But the leader promised more. Meantime, Conservative senators voluntarily posted more detailed expenses. A CBC story about top spending Conservative senators flying business class, often with their spouses, caused a furor. The Liberal numbers out today did not include the cost or frequency of spousal travel. We decided to do exactly what the ministers currently do, which is to release MP travel and hospitality and we did have done that for months, so we were first out of the gate on that. And then the Conservatives followed us. Now they have added spouses. We will add spouses. Peter, it will take a while to sift through all the details and the numbers the Liberals released today. What is clear, though, is that what the parties herald as voluntary disclosure is left to their own discretion. There are no standards, no rules. So what Liberals left out for example, spousal travel, can keep Canadians wondering about how much they really know about how parliamentarians spend their tax dollars. Peter. All right, Susan, thanks very much. Susan Bonner.